Hello friends, my name is Elliot Greenwood and in this video I'm going to show you how to use tile sets and tile maps in Unity game engine. At the same time I'm going to show you how to set up the tiles properly so you would have no bugs such as gaps in between the tiles, we we'll usually see these lines but within the tiles which is something that no one likes to see. I'll be using Unity 2021 3.8 F1 version and I created a 2D project. So of course the very first step we need to get the tile set imported into this engine. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it tiles. A simple folder where you're going to store your tiles. So now that we got this folder let's go export some tiles. Now I have a window ready here with the tiles that I made in my previous videos. If you want to see how I made them you can find the video links in the description down below or just a notification at the top of the video. Anyways so let's start. Obviously we need to get these tiles in a form of PNG file. Now just to save some space and file size I'm going to move these tiles down here and I'm going to reduce the size. There we go. So the way we're going to export it is on scale 1. Make sure to have it on scale 1 and just export it as a PNG file just like that. Just click download and you'll get the file here. Now I'm going to just drag this file straight into Unity Engine. Just drag it in here. Just make sure it's somewhere here and you'll get this file right here. So now we need to configure this image so we could get each and every single tile separated. The way to get this, simply we just have to select a sprite mode as multiple, set the pixels per unit on 16 because that's the tile size. Now obviously if you're going with a different tile size, you just type in 32 by 32, whichever number size you're using. So just type in, in here the tile size and for this part that's it. Now we don't really need to do anything in advanced, but we need to select the filter mode on point. This will basically make these tiles more sharp. Each and every pixel will be very clean. The size doesn't really matter, you can just keep it on default or if you want to reduce the space you can do that, but just keep it on how it is. You don't really need to think about these parts, but just set the compression to none and then just hit apply. Once you applied, go up a little bit and just click on this sprite editor right over here and you will get this window. Now this window is very important when it comes to sprite animations and just tiles in general because obviously we have to cut all these pieces and separate them and it's very very simple. Since we're going with very basic tiles we don't need any of this, just select the sprite editor. I will probably going to cover all these in more of an advanced tile settings but for now just keep it sprite editor. So now we're going to click slice that's going to be the main area where we fix our tiles. So we're going to select a type, either grid by cell size or grid by cell count. Now if you're going to select cell size, you have to know specific pixel size. What size one tile is, in my case it's 16. So you can already see, it. if I type 16, red lines will appear. That will show you where the cuts will be happening. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here, 16 by 16. And as you can see, each and every tile will be perfectly cut. Now if you of course chosen the count, all you have to know is count of units. In my case, it's 10 by 8. Yep, it's 10 by 8. So the first one is the column, the second one is the row. And just like that, we have our grid in the same way. It's up to you which one you want to use. The other point you need to know is the pivot point. Uh, and since we're going to use a tile map, make sure to keep this in the center. Otherwise, the tiles will be misaligned. So now, since we got all this fixed, just click Slice. And then, just over here, click Apply. You can close this page. And as you can see down here, we have our tiles separated. And with this step done, we can start setting up a tile map. Before I do that, I'm just going to go to the game tab and just select the 
full HD scale, it doesn't really matter what you'd like to use. I'm just going to preset it so I could have easier access to see what I'm doing right here. And now let's create the tile map. To get the tile map active on the hierarchy area, just click right mouse button, just go to 2D object, tile map, and just select the rectangular one. And in here you can just name your tile map however you like. And I'm going to call it just ground tile map. Now since we selected our tiles to be 16 by 16 units, this will be the one unit that the tile will take place. So now that we got the tile map, we need to set up a tile palette. Now to get access to the tile palette, in this version, the button is right over here. This purple 3x3 three three squares or 9 square object. Now once you're gonna click that, you will get this window. Now if you're using older versions, a button create new tile map should appear somewhere in the bottom right corner or if you're using a very old version for whatever reason and you don't see an option to create a tile to the object tile map, you have to go to the windows and the package manager. And once you open package manager, just go to unity registry and if you don't have these four things, make sure to download them. Do the sprite, sprite shape, tile map editor and tile map extras. Just make sure to download all these four features. Well, if you don't have these as well, make sure to get them to you as well, just in case. If you're using latest version, these things are installed automatically. Let's continue with the tile palette. Now, before I create new tile palette, I'm going to create another folder and just call tile palettes. This place will basically store all these used tiles. To create new palette, it's very simple. Just click create new palette, name your palette ground or however you like. If you're using different set of tiles or themes, you can of course create new tiles, tile palettes and just separate them to make things easier for you to navigate. Once you selected your name, just click create and you will get another window which will ask for you to link the folder where you would like to keep all the tiles. So just select tile palettes and that's it. And once you've done that, just take this tile set that you imported first and just drag it right in here. And as you can see, once you're gonna drag in here, the window will change the same folder again. Just put it in here and just wait until all the tiles will get loaded. And just like that, you will have a window where you can interact with your tiles. So let's just start from the beginning. First, just make sure you selected your ground tile map right over here. Now this is a manual way of drawing tiles. Doesn't require much of a skill. Let me just explain the tools for you. Now the main thing I have selected is the brush tool. Just by clicking on any tile, I select it and I can draw with it. So as you can see in here, I drew a tile or grass tile or whichever tile you'd like to draw. Very simple, easy to use. Now I'm using scroll to go up and down within this area. Click middle mouse button to navigate around like this. This tool is a select tool. All it does is basically just selects all the tiles or whichever tiles you want, as long as you drag and hold. We will get a orange outline. And if you want to move these tiles around within this area, all you have to do is just set the edit button, and select the move tool and just move these tiles wherever you like, as long as it's selected with the select tool. Once you finish, just click edit again and it will save this layout. This tool allows you to just select a huge area and drag and it will fill with the tiles. Select tool is self-explanatory, can select it on both areas either here or here. A razor tool and self-explanatory, just deletes the tiles. Last tool is the fill-in tool. If you just draw empty hollow object, you can just fill them in like that with a filler tool. Now, of course, if you're not happy with basic brush, you can select which brush you would like to use in here. If you want, you can just go ahead and play with them and see what you like. And that's how you create a tile palette. So let's just draw some tiles. I'm going to create a simple scene. And 
and that's that's one of the ways to how to set up the tiles now sometimes when it comes to games and playing it sometimes create the gaps within now in my case it doesn't but once you build a slightly bigger project you will start noticing that these tiles have like some kind of a gaps appearing now you don't really notice it but sometimes it happens i'm going to show you how to fix this gap within tiles bug all you have to do is just click create then go to 2d and just select sprite atlas now you can call it whatever you want i'm just going to call it tiles atlas and I'm going to drag this tile set right over here on the name of the objects for packaging like this just drag this file in here and just pack preview what the atlas does basically it will create weird structure which will basically prevent all these gaps appearing around the tiles now as a last step just make sure to set the filter mode on point and none on the compression and just pack it again so you could have a very sharp image and that will prevent from all the gaps appearing in your work now since I closed the tile drawing app don't worry all you have to do is just go back to ground tiles and just select this purple button and it will open your tile set again if you have more tiles that you have drawn all you have to do is just download them again new tiles that you would like to add just do the same thing set as multiple 16 no point no compression go to sprite editor slice them i'm going to use the 16 by 16 and just slice them apply that's it just close the window and if you want to add more tiles within your tile set all you have to do is just drag this into here Save, save them as different name let's just call them grass new tiles just select this folder it will create new tiles more tiles from different type just like that if you want to keep all your tiles within the same palette and of course as a last step just don't forget to put these tiles into here and just back preview this is how you create the tiles, this is how you draw them, you can select packs, you don't have to use just one, you can use multiple, use them to create 2D world in any size you like. Just make sure that it doesn't burn your computers. So there we go, we have another tile set imported. Now the most important part, setting up the physics. When it comes to tiles, obviously we want to have some kind of a solid ground so the player character could walk. And we don't really have to do much, we just add a couple of components. So the first thing will be the Tile Collider, Tile Map Collider 2D. And as you can see, it automatically will create some of the hitboxes on each tile. However, having collisions like that will create some issues for the character. Because sometimes characters tend to get stuck on these edges. So in order to make this entire thing smooth, we have to add another thing which is Composite Collider 2D. And as you can see, it will automatically as well will add rigid body. All you have to do here is just set the collision detection on continuous and just set it as static object. Make sure that simulated is ticked on. Tile Map Collider 2D, just tick the use by composite. And as you can see, hitboxes will be drawn just around the tiles even it applies to random shapes and the best part about it it does it automatically so you don't have to redo it again and again sets collisions as you draw so to demonstrate to you I'm just going to create a simple square sprite and I'm just going to move it up add collider 2d box collider and just add rigid body to demonstrate you that it works going to set collision on continuous it's very important that you do that otherwise characters sometimes will just go through the floor once jumping off the high ground interpolate is set on interpolate and just and let's test it out well the camera is off shot but you will see here that the box is colliding properly just like that and it works just fine pixel perfect collisions well it has some slight elevations but overall it works just fine and that's it pretty much this is how you set up a basic tile map so you can start building your levels and yeah that's it 
So thanks for watching. I hope I helped you in some form or way and I hope you learned something new. If I missed out something, please do comment in the comments down below just to share with other people. But overall, I think I covered every single step that is needed to know. If there anything else that you would like to learn, make sure to drop a comment down below or just go ahead and check out my YouTube channel where you can find variation of content that might be useful for you. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.